Alright guys, part three of the answering questions. This should be the last part, I think. Bionic Dance, again you ask, can I have a cookie? Yes, you certainly can. Uh, you can have my cookies, or you can go grab a cookie that you left in the shelf for yourself. Um, whatever you'd like. Um, let's see. Also she asks, what does the schwa in my name refer to? Um, it does have to do with my hometown. The nickname for my my hometown is called The Schwa. So, it's wh where I'm from. If I, It would be like if you're from Toronto, calling yourself Toronto Nerd, or whatever a nickname for Toronto would be. Um, yeah. Uh, Mnoof2002 Mnoof asks, Why do you think more religious folk cannot be uh, theistic evolutionists? Because it... If you, if you honestly, they don't want to come to terms with the fact that evolution destroys Christianity. Uh, if the creation account isn't literally true, there's no reason for Jesus to come and deal with the fall of man in the Garden of Eden. There's no reason for salvation or anything. It just all falls apart if the beginning isn't right, and it's not. Um, so, there you go. That's the real reason. They just don't want to admit it. Let's see. RBA17 asks, if you could fight anyone in the theist, atheist YouTube community, who would you fight? Um, let's see. Let's say cage match, boxing, boxing match. Let's see. Um, I'm trying to think of a theist who would be a fair fight with, because, you know, I'd love to get in the ring with Venom Fang X, the original Venom Fang X, just so I could pummel him for stealing money from that hospital that I went to when I was younger. Uh, but I, I think I'd just kick his ass, and there wouldn't be much of a fight to see. Um, so there you go. If you're a theist and you think you can take me on, give me a call. We'll uh, we'll set up a match. We'll see how that goes. Um, Let's say you die and God exists, but it's not the God of the Bible, it's the God from Futurama. Um, well, I would, if I could ask him any questions, I would ask, what's the deal with all these crazy religious folks who think these horrible things about you, why haven't you told them what you really like? Um, he also asks, do you think the reason why religious people, or people may be religious to begin with at all is the fear of death or the fear of not existing? That's uh, quite a good assessment, actually. Religion is, you know, the primitive way of answering the unanswerable questions we had. You know, like, Zeus was responsible for lightning. Um, the thing is, religion is the answer for what happens after we die, since nobody can 100% ever say what really happens to your mind, uh, you know, your consciousness once you're dead. Of course, we would just you know, say, as far from what we've observed, you just cease to exist, but, yeah, that's neither here nor there. Um, Kill Craze Wow asks, if you could immediately force every theist in the world to realize there is no God, would you? Um, I might? I don't know if I want to do it by force, like, I think I'd, I'd rather uh, have a have a way to just convince them not through anything coercive, like magically just snapping my fingers and they all don't believe. I wanted to be able to just prove it to them. Um, Sko Forever um, asks, do you think evolutionary principles can be applied to technology and economics? Uh, evolutionary stuff is already applied to technology, of course it is. I don't know much about economics myself, but I guess you could. I just know for a, for a fact that evolutionary models have been used in designing all sorts of machinery. Uh, let's see... Cypress77 asks, who would win in a fight? A shark with bears for arms, or a bear with sharks for arms? Hmm... I think a bear with sharks for arms would win, because, like, the shark mouths would do more bite damage, I guess, than a, than a bear would. And plus, the bear can actually walk... I, I'm imagining this um, shark bear flailing around on the ground because it can't move, because it just has these big bear arms. Uh, but the bear with shark arms could just, you know, run up to it and, like, punch it in the face with its shark fist. 
I don't know, but that sounds like a fucking awesome idea. I'd love to see that. Dragonfly Detective asks, if you could bring life uh, to life a character from a book, who would it be? Uh, if it was a book or a movie, uh, just off the top of my head, I'd want to bring to life... Uh, the gunslinger guy from the Dark Tower series. I just pulled pull that out of my ass. I don't know why. I've just been reading the books lately, so that'd be cool. What's my favorite item in my home and why? Obviously this computer. It's the thing that keeps me sane and connected to the outside world. Um, do you have any life lessons learned from growing up in a fundamentalist household? Uh, well, I've, I did a video about this a long, long time ago, but uh, if I was going to give advice to parents, uh, the m main thing I would do is instill critical thought in your child. Don't force atheism on them. Just make sure they know how to critically examine everything. If they know how to critically examine their beliefs, um, they probably won't be dragged into fundamentalism, at least. Also, he asks, do you like detective stories? Yes, I do. Um... Griffin Pilgrim asks, if you had to be in a religion, which one would it be? Let's say... The Raelians, since the Raelians are still atheists and they have crazy sex orgies, so it would be awesome. Um, uh, da -da -da. Obscure Nemesis asks, when you called the atheist experience the first time, you said your dad was also an atheist. Um, will I ever do a video with him? I don't know. You know what? He's actually upstairs right now. <laughs> I can't get him right now, but I think one day I might actually do that. Iconoclastic23 asks, is there anything more trite and overused than the V for Vendetta mask? Hmm, probably. I just can't think of anything right now. Uh, Icelandic Viking asks, how much did I pay for this mask? This thing is only nine bucks. It's just, it's just plastic. Uh, it's very flimsy. Uh... Johan B92 asks, why did John Lennon have to get shot while all these unoriginal pussies are still alive? I know, it's, it's a travesty. I'd rather have all these, you know, repetitive emo, screamo, whatever bands be dead than John Lennon. Are you at all afraid of swine flu? No, not really. Uh, would you rather be a mediocre magician with a large fan base or the greatest poet with a small but dedicated fan base? I'm the same mediocre musician just because... Large fan base means fangirls, and I like fangirls. Um, Flem answered, asks, what fight would I rather see? Uh, I would love to see the NRA versus Congress. That would be amazing. Um, St. St. Jimmy asks, if God somehow existed and knocked on my door, what would I say to him? Well, the first thing I would just ask is... Um, for an apology for his horrible job that he's done so far. Uh, Anglais Moyen asks, what do I think about Ted Kennedy? I actually don't know much about him. I mean, <sighs> I'm sorry, I gotta claim ignorance on that one. I looked up his Wikipedia page, but uh, all I knew was that he was Democrat and progressive for the most part. He had some scandals in his life, and I don't know, I can't really say. Uh, Santari asks, do you play Source Forts? No. Do you like Muse, Radiohead, Coldplay, MCR, Martin Gretsch, or Pendulum? I don't know half of those bands, and I don't listen to any of them. Uh, have you attempted to find secret messages in the radio sound from Half-Life 2? No. Uh, Jacob Deadman asks, what do you think of other religions besides Christianity, Buddhism, and Wicca, and Satanism? It doesn't matter, even though, obviously, I would say Christianity has caused the most harm to the most amount of people. None of them have any way to back up their beliefs. Uh, there's no reason why you should believe in any of them if they can't support it with evidence. Uh, I'm going to cut this video off again. Sorry. And there's going to be one final part four video that's just going to be really short. So, sorry about that. See you soon.